Oh, hey, Octavius. Octavius, I got a question for you. Are you ever going to wrestle someone your own size? I mean, you're a big guy, but you keep wrestling these little guys. I mean, like, let's see what you're really made of, right? I mean, come on, this is RGE. This is a revolution. You got this. No! What my revolution is? Well, in case you didn't know, I am the prenudical, bodacious Nicholas Esteban Taylor. Oh, I'll kick children, I'll grab children, and I'll throw them around the room, play with the extra figures, I don't care. I'm going to show RGE who the real loose cannon is. Gentlemen, my name is Becker for Real, and welcome to RGE Wrestling. On tonight's episode, as you can see in the ring, we have Menace taking on this newcomer, Claymore, who was uh, laughing at me last week after Octavius Black mercilessly threw me through the chair, as you saw at the top of the episode. But, 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 on tonight's episode, we have a very special guest. So without further ado, let me introduce to you, Rick Santel. That's me. Becker for real? <laughs> no, seriously. High five. Really, give me the high five. Get hurt. <laughs> hey, Becker for real is not your name. We all know you're Andrew Becker. So from this point forward, Andrew Becker is who you'll be. So let's get to the action in the ring. Okay, so you come in here and the first thing you are is you're, you're mean? That's all you're going to be? You're just going to be mean? I did something nice for you. I changed your name. So you're not the laughing stock of professional wrestling. In this match, Clay Moore challenges the Blackenese assassin Menace. Now, I don't know much about Clay Moore, but I know Menace, the 18-year veteran, is the man of rubber, has never suffered a serious injury. He's gonna be a handful for the newcomer Clay Moore. Man of rubber? The way I'm looking at that gut hanger over those jeans, he looks more like the man of flubber. Clay Moore is built like a Greek god. This man is a de he's my pick for the win for this match. I'm just throwing that out there. Well, you may be the only person in the building that thinks uh, Menace has some weight to lose, but uh, well, I guess you're entitled to your opinion. He's over at Santel, that's for sure. This newcomer, Claymore, looks like an absolute force to be reckoned with. Yeah, but how rude. I mean, look. I, look, okay, I was out of line in, 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 you know, I guess I thought Octavius Black was, was weak because I thought he was reading books, and, you know, I, I, I forgot that this guy's a college football player, and, and let's just face it, I learned my lesson, but it was not nice for that man to laugh at me, play more. Really? Really? He's a professional wrestler. He can do what he wants to do. Look at this man. Look how he's built. Look at those arms. He can't point and laugh at you? I'm just laughing. It's not nice. This is true, but this is how we get stronger in life. We move on. You accept it and move on. Speaking of moving on, can Menace get out of this move by Clay Moore? I say the only way he's getting out of it is when he separates his shoulders. Clay Moore's digging in deep. I can high five the other hand. Don't be ridiculous. Left hand high fives on. Anyway. 
Menace fights to his feet. Where are we going from here? Into the corner. Now Clay Moore has not been seen on this, this program before, but as you can see, he's built like a, like a Greek god. Menace, on the other hand, the 18-year veteran, the Blackenese assassin from the south side of Tokyo, Japan, is going to be a handful for this newcomer. I don't know about being a handful. It looks like to me that claymore has got him exactly where he wants him. That man right there is an absolute professional. Now one problem I have with Claymore is the first time we've seen this guy was last week after I got thrown through a metal folding chair. Are you dwelling on the past? Let's not dwell on the past. Yeah, the man of rubber now. He's going to have to fight out of this one. Ugh, I, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I make myself laugh. Look at this. He's just warming. All he's doing is making him mad. It's obvious. Look at this. Where are we going with this? To the corner. Big boot by Claymore. Kick him while he's down. Don't just leave him there, Moore. Just get up. Kick him while he's down. He picked him up. He did. Nice up there. What's going to happen here? Hard shots in the corner. Clay Moore getting those hard knife edge chops that are finding their mark. There's a receipt for you. Yeah, that's what it is, you know. That'll teach the man a flubber. I, look, I don't know about this whole flubber thing. It's kind of a weird movie as it was. I got you on that one. <laughs> you did, you did. I'll give that to you. But, I, but look, you want to call that's this... That's a great pose. By Clay Moore. Do you see double bicep, front double bicep? The man of rubber is up one more time. Hard chop by Menace! That chop wasn't so hard. That's gonna blister. I've definitely seen harder chop. But see, you have a lot in common with this Clay Moore character. Because, you know, he wants to show up making fun of me, and you want to show up making fun of me, and all this stuff. Well, you know what? I'm Flubber, you're Glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. You're being a child. Menace! Could this be it? One, two, and... And he kicks out. He's toying with the man. He's going to need more than that. We are certainly seeing the resiliency of this newcomer, but it's still going to take a lot to overcome the veteran tactics of Menace. You're looking at a man like you just said. He's a veteran, 18 years of experience. And he's given this man to me. It looks like everything that he's got, and he keeps coming back for more. Yeah, those hard shots by this... Ooh, where's he going with this? Herc and Rana, could this be it? Here, one, two, and... Oh! That was a near fall. Oh, come on. You gotta, you gotta take care of this business. He's getting the crowd behind him. All six of them. Ooh, hits the camera. Hard shots in the corner. Come on, man. Whips him off the buckle. Reverse. Menace, up and over. Play more. Re nope, Menace. Reverse drop kick. And big boot to the face, knocks Claymore to the mat. And he was right back up. Yeah, a little bit dazed and confused, though. He is taking an absolute beating. Menace seems like he's got an idea. Where are we going from here? Claymore going. Claymore with his feet on the ropes. Rudy Charles catches him, says no. Come on, that Rudy. You need to fast you need to count faster, Rudy. Come on. Menace with a roll-up. One, two, and no. The newcomer, a winner, get a victory. On November 3rd in Oak Ridge, Tennessee at the Boys and Girls Club, CNR Service Company presents the second annual Tag Team for Tots in association with RGE Wrestling. All proceeds go to the Holiday Bureau of Anderson County.
And then he was like, boy, look you, 19,000 people. <laughs> I was like, where are you? Freeway? Hey, guys! I got a brand new gimmick this week. I got a brand new character, a brand new idea. Wait, you keep coming to come? No. Somebody he just keeps shows calling up. me. He calls every week. Tony, Tony, listen. Not me. Listen, I got a brand new one. Okay. All right. This week, I am Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I've been here every single week. Yeah? Every single week. Oh, okay. And I've got no, they, that's right, that's exactly right. I've got no TV time. Him, he's greener than an activist t-shirt. And he's been on TV every week. I'm wearing black. That's not what he's, you it's, missed the metaphor. It's, mm. never mind. Like Frank White. Yeah. No, there or Shazam. Shazam. Captain Marvel. Gotcha. Anyways, back to it. I've had no TV time. I've been here for weeks, busting my butt. Beating everybody up. Hey, did you just work menace or something? Look at the chest. We're not, we're not gonna talk about that. All right. That, that one doesn't have to be on TV. But, anyways, back to my point. What, you understand? Uh, not really. No? No, he's on TV a lot. Yeah. Is it, is it just, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Are you trying, wait, are you trying to say that I should get more TV time. That's what I'm trying that, to say. That, that he's taking up too much TV time because he never wins. Exactly. He well, never wins anything. He's always on TV. I came so close. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, so, hey, hey so, wait, time out, 20 second time out. Okay. I think he's right. He's never won. I mean, wait, he, he is chewing up all our TV. Wait, 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 wait. So, so, he is on the television all the time, right? We are too, but we're cool. And he doesn't ever win a wrestling match. Right. So, all he, he might win the hearts of, you know, some mutants out there watching TV, but not a wrestling match. So, pretty much all he's doing on TV is talking. Yeah, I got an idea. Hey, hey, hey. Can, can I can I uh, can I throw it out there? Oh, yeah, you you just lay it out. What about this? And see if this will appease you too. It might. KC. Yeah. Until you actually win a wrestling match, you can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, look at the big I, brain I, I, on shot. What? Yeah, no more talking. No. Until you get a victory. That would probably start now because you haven't won anything. And actually, you got a match. Yep. Go get her, Slugger. Good game. Good guy, man. Yeah. You've been here? What's your name? I've been Clay Moore. Oh, okay. I've been here the whole time. I don't remember seeing him. Me either. Really? I get it, though. Clay Moore, like a mine? More like a sword. But yeah, a mine, that's cool, too. Yeah. Uh, I never thought about that. I thought that was the point. A sword? Yeah, I see the point. It's... No? Okay. No. Just... All right. See ya. Right. See you, buddy. Anyways, hang for the rest. Sean Schultz, what a genius. <laughs> Casey yeah, Rush, yeah, Casey yeah. Rush, he can't speak until that. he wins. Oh, we'll never hear from this kid again. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Claymore's been here for the last six weeks. Yeah, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself for not even noticing. You should. You saw, you saw what the kid just did to the menace, the man of flubber. Anyway, right now we have Nick Taylor taking on Casey Rush. And now Casey Rush is on his fresh vocal suspension. And I'm pretty sure he just spoke in the ring. That ought to be a fine. Okay. And it might well be since nothing seems to make sense around here. You got Sean Schultz making, you know, making stipulations on not just matches, but can he not talk ever or what the deal can he sing can he i don't know right now he's getting a lesson in professional wrestling that's right you got nick taylor who's definitely going to give him a lesson nick taylor is a tough man this cat guy was in the army you saw him earlier you know beating up children big knee to the face speaking of you know beating up the newcomer casey rush this looks like it's gonna be a really hard neck breaker oh poor casey yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't even beat up kids. That's ridiculous. This guy's a little bit insane. But I like him. But how unfair is it that, you know, Tony Lucasio and Sean Schultz just get to have their way around the show? The, the CEO. The Keo. Whatever. Well, they're in charge. 
I know they like to make up their own words and, and this and that and whatever, but I don't think this is even a legitimate thing. How, how can you tell someone they can't talk? This is still America. I know, I've known Sean Schultz for a long time and I'm sure the man has a plan. There's a method to his madness. Genius, actually, is what I like to call it. And for what it's worth, we actually haven't seen Nick Taylor win a match yet either, unless I'm mistaken. And I don't think I am. And he's a very tough guy. Casey Rush surprised himself. He didn't even, oh, big spine buster. I think that's the first offensive move we've seen Casey Rush do. Maybe he'll get this vocal suspension okay. lifted right now. What is he doing? He just threw his elbow into the crowd. He's been watching too much television. It's a good thing, it's a good thing he got rid of the elbow pad and hit him with the other elbow pad. Just beat this kid and get it over with. Oh, wow. Casey Rush, this TV watching may pay off. There's Claymore. Got something to say to the referee, taking exception, I guess, to... Uh, I have no idea. Maybe something that happened in the match before. Right there, Casey Rush should have been just disqualified. He just smacked Rudy Charles on the chest. This match should be over. Nick Taylor should be your... Oh, cutter! Nice cutter. This guy... Count to 50, this guy is done. And Casey will... Not be able to talk for another week? Hopefully never. Well, coming up next, in action, we have the modern-day Viking, Sean Schultz, taking on the crazy man, Shane Andrews. Should I call another one? Sean Schultz? He's my pick for the win. are in the main event. The modern day Viking, Sean Schultz, our CEO, CEO's little buddy, takes on the crazy man, Shane Andrews, who has challenged, of all people, the guy that beat me up last week, Octavius Black. Like I said, stop dwelling in the past. Sean Schultz is a professional athlete. Professional wrestler. Sean Schultz also is a master of the game. Yeah, and so is Shane Andrews. Shane Andrews, of course, getting that first arm bar. He gets the first one up against Sean Schultz. Sean Schultz hasn't been able to fight to his feet. I won't deny that Shane Andrews is not a good professional wrestler as well. But you see how quickly Sean Schultz takes control of a man. This is back and forth action. Yeah, and you can see how fast Shane Andrews takes control once more with a headlock takeover. And there you go, John Schultz. And we're back to a neutral position. I just, you know, after last week, I have way more respect for Octavius Black than I did before, because I know personally how strong that, how big and how strong that guy is. Shane Andrews, he might have bit off more than he can chew. I know he bit off way more than he can chew. Octavius Black, that's a huge man. That's a man without a conscience. Yeah, and he's a smart man too. This is a guy that that you know reads physics books backstage, and you know he was a, a former college football player, but he's got a high, an IQ of over 150. He's not only going to come at you with a physical game, but he's going to come at you with a mental game. And a mental game that maybe someone like Shane Andrews can't defend against. And he threw me across the room like a little child. I don't know if I'll ever be the same. Probably because you are a child. Remember earlier? 
and a near fall, and these guys are back on their feet. Referee Rudy Charles is going to have to watch this one closely. You never know when Sean Chilts is going to manage a dirty trick or Tony Lucasio is going to show up and, and do something underhanded. I've known Sean Schultz for 14 years and I've never seen the man do a dirty thing ever. Not one single, look at that, clean break, fresh break. Now that was underhanded. Did you see that? Taunting the man. Sean Schultz is trying to be a professional and Shane Andrews taunts him as he walks out of the corner. Well, as you said, this is professional wrestling. These guys are just trying to get under each other's skin and let's see if we're gonna have a clean break here. And we do, and Schultz is a consummate professional. This is the same guy that, you know, ha applied a vocal suspension to Casey Rush earlier, which is sort of weird. Sometimes the boss has to do things that the employees don't like. Right, but, but Sean Schultz is not really the boss. Tony Lucasio is the boss. This is the boss's buddy. This is cronyism at its finest. At this point in the match, Sean Schultz looks like the boss. And there's a cheat by Shane Andrews. That's a, that's a legal wrestling move. Maybe it's cheating as far as test of strength goes. They're but doing it, a test of strength and he kicks them. But they're in a wrestling match. Exactly. Kicking is not wrestling. This isn't an MMA. This is a real sport. I'm Rick Santel. Hey, don't Nature, you see? Nature's greatest miracle. That was an accident. Look at that. John Schultz brushes him off like it was nothing. Pops right back up to his knees. It's amazing how evenly matched these two guys seem to be. At this stage in the match, it's been back and forth, back and forth, and it has been a remarkably clean fight. I will give it to them. This is gonna come down to stamina. Look, there's a receipt from Sean Schultz. You kick him, fine, he'll kick you back. And some, and some closed fists, too. They looked open from here, brother. Well, the referee didn't think so. Now he's slamming his head against that metal turnbuckle. That one was wide open. Look at that. Oh, and another one. Look, even the referees are saying, hey, open that fist up. We had a good back and forth wrestling match going here, and Sean Schultz is going for that little dirty tricks. He to gain the advantage, and it's not working. Jay Andrews, big hip toss. And referee Rudy Charles is trying to get them both to a neutral position. Schultz is contemplating his next move. He's still filling the man out. I've seen this before. There's some things that Sean Schultz are is he's just gonna let you get away with. And then he's gonna cheat. That, that wasn't a cheat. It's all right for you. Like what? That, that open, that closed fist right there? I'm telling you, those fists look wide open from where I'm standing. They're pretty much basically slaps. And the windy better seats. I agree. Just period. We should be closer to the ring. This camera guy, he's had more action in the last couple of matches than he's had in his entire life. Yeah, it's amazing that thing's still on the uh, still on the shoulder. Oh! The hip toss. <laughs> I think the camera guy took another kick. That was an arm drag, but you can call it a hip toss. It looked good from here. <laughs> Whatever it was, it hit the camera guy, so it's... Like I said, the cameraman has had more action in the last couple of matches than he's had in his entire life. He ought to be paying them. John Schultz taking a, uh, I don't say he's taking a breather, but he's definitely trying to maneuver himself into a better position. He's regaining his composure. You got to keep an eye on him because any moment he's going to, he's capable of doing something right there and taking control right back. Oh, and a back rake. Well, you know what? Fall is coming up. This is Shane Andrews. Just wrap your mind. He's not leaping. That was, I'm just going to tell you, that was pretty good. That was one. Write it down. It was good. I can't write. My arms are just Rudy Charles, what is he doing? He's distracting an opponent in the ring. That's ridiculous. Look. Shane Andrews going for a body slam, and Sean was one step ahead of him. I guess he was trying to lure him in, playing a little, uh, playing a little possum there. Now Shane Andrews is getting stomped, getting rocked. 
That is a that's your proverbial mud hole right there. Rudy, let the men fight. This is a wrestling match. Here we go. Where are we going here? Is this a suplex? Looks like he's going for that fisherman. Oh! No, uh -oh, watch that camera guy. Watch that camera guy. I think he's in harm's way. All the blood at this point is rushing to Sean Schultz's head. Oh! Big suplex. That took something out of both men. Yeah, it sure did. How about this? Could this be it? One, two, no, uh, not even two. That was just a one count. Maybe one and a half. It's going to take more than one suplex to beat Sean Schultz. Yeah, but it's one suplex. And, and that's not a close fist. Hey. It's funny how you only see this one side. That's see, too that, close. That fist. looked open to me. What? He's shaking his knuckles. The man's got eyes on the back of his trunks. Big body slam by Shane Andrews. Makes you wonder what he's going to do against a guy like Octavius Black, who he simply wouldn't be able to body slam. Another one count. He can't get past the one counts. He's got to do more than this if he's going to wear down Sean Schultz. You're just not going to beat. Oh, big kick to the back. And we know how smart and tactical Sean Schultz is. But Octavius Black, this is a guy that has a, an IQ of 150. This is a guy that he reads physics books backstage. I mean, you're going to have to get a one-up on this guy. So what, what does that tell you about Shane Andrews? He's not very intelligent. No, I didn't say that. There's an the eye rake right there. I'm pretty sure I didn't see it. I was looking at you. But what I'm saying is he doesn't have an IQ of 150. He's going to have to use all of his experience to beat a guy like Octavius Black. And that was a two count in case you missed it. No kick to the back. He's going to need a whole lot of help to beat a man like Octavius Black. Yeah, Octavius Black, he's, I mean, my point is, he's no mindless monster. And you can't just think that this because he's, you know, this this big new guy, that you can just, you know. That he can go right in there and manipulate him and scare him exactly. and win the match? It's not going to happen. Not at all. He's, he's too smart. I, look, I, I, I learned. He's, and he's too strong. I don't know... How he can beat him. You need to be telling this to Shane Andrews. He's not going to beat him. But Sean Schultz is about to beat Shane Andrews right now. Pin the man. Put him in a choke. All it's going to take is one. Irish whip. Oh, big club to the gut. chest. The chest or the gut? It looks like the chest. What do we have here? You Roll know, up. Near fall. Near fall. That one was close. That was real close. I thought he had the match right there. Come on! Sean Schultz with Shane Andrews. Into the sleeper. It's time for lights out. Charles, of course, steps in, checks it for a choke, which is a waste of time. Sean Schultz is not going to choke, choke the man. That is a professional wrestling hold. Yeah, and Shane Andrews is going to have to do what he can to fight out of this one. This match could be over right here. These guys have been going at it for a little while here, and both of them are worn down. He's got rubber arms already. He Flubber. is done. Flubber. Flubber was in the other match. That's one. Look at that. Come on. Pick him up. Come on, Shane. Come on, Shane. Two. And here's your winner, Sean Schultz. You're going to owe me another $100. No, maybe not. Oh, come on. This guy's... He's, oh, my goodness, a stunner. You do need to learn to stop betting on professional wrestling. You should. Some would say that some people have an advantage that they might even know the outcome. I think that's a rule, but some do say that. Hard shot by Shane Andrews. Big clothesline. Shane Andrews is firing up. Sean Schultz is in a world of hurt right now. Big flip kick. And he's going. Here we have it. One, two, and oh, no. He barely kicked out. Come on, Schultz. Dig down deep. Get some lights back in yourself. There's another closed fist punch by your hero, Shane Andrews. Hey, this man's crazy, but I'll give it to him. He knows how to bring a fight. 
Octavius Black will have his hands full. Just like Sean Schultz does right now. Oh, big double clothesline. Both men are down. Rudy Charles is about to make the count. Oh, oh my God. That's Octavius Black. Look who it is. Hey, I, uh, is he coming to see you? I'm out of here. You got you, This one's yours. Take care. Where are you going? He might be coming to see you. Becker, come back. Octavius Black is making his way to the ring. Schultz is getting to his feet. And Sean Schultz just noticed Octavius Black. He's getting in the ring. Jane Andrews, <laughs> look up. Look who, he's climbing a very tall tree right now. RGE fans, it looks like you're about to see something beautiful from the man they call Octavius Black. Big sit out power bomb. He just made a statement with that. They are ringing the bell. This match is over with. Jane Andrews, if your mouth's going to write checks that your rear end can't cash, this is going to be the outcome. This is your special guest. Nature's greatest guest for RGE Wrestling. Oh my God, it's Rick Santel. Becker's already out of here. You can forget him. I'm out of here too. RGE fans, lame name, lame promotion. See you next episode.